Hey Eugene, have you heard the new? Yep, there's gonna be so much bling. I don't know how to feel about you or any of this. Oh, lighten up, there's gonna be more shiny cars than ever. I know, but look, that could either be a really good thing or a really bad thing. The reason why is they could come out with the deck, print more support for that deck throughout these sets, you know, come out with new foils for that deck throughout these sets and make decks good investments for players, or they could just piss out more and more and more decks every set and people will have to buy them. Jeez, you're a real buzzkill, you know that? Oh, I know, I'm sorry, man. It's just, I really hope that they do the right thing here. I do like how they brought back Prismatic Secrets, though. Some of those old Game Boy cards, my favorites of all time, seriously. You mean Starlight Rare! Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that name either, but I'm not exactly spilling over with ideas for what to name card rarities, so they'll get a pass on that from me. Plus, it'll catch on eventually. Starlight, Starbright, fill my deck with shiny cards tonight. You strike me as more of the type to play Starfoils. What do you mean by that one? It means that they got rid of your other favorite rarity too. Rares used to be the bane of my existence. Why would I like those? Yeah, back in the day, opening packs, only pulling a rare and bad commons and not even getting the short print. I can still feel the pain. Some sets weren't even good. Shadow Spectres. Secrets of Eternity. And they didn't ban Mystic Mind. <laughs> you know, they might as well give us back self-destruct button if we're gonna have Mystic Mind and Empty Jar running around. Do you know what else? Oh dear God, no, that would be awful. That's literally the equivalent of FTKs running around, really. I'm actually glad the sneak peeks are over with, though. One last excuse to take you out in public. You act like I'm some kind of weirdo. I think I see this thing. That's nothing. Yeah, they're all garbage. They all revolve around I need skull dreads. Mm -mm. I am not having this conversation with you right now. Well, I hate that there's not gonna be sneak peeks anymore. And there's not gonna be cool mats anymore either. I mean, no sneak peeks would equal no sneak peek mats either, I'm guessing, but I mean, that's all people went there for anyways. I mean, the mats and the cards. I really like to trade. I know you do, Eugene. <sighs> You know what I'm the most worried about, though? What's that? They keep printing more and more cards, and the new cards just don't hold their value like the old stuff, like the nostalgic stuff. I don't know. Let's just take DDS Blue Eyes, for example. That is a card that was sought after, had a short print, and it is still a very sought after and very worthwhile investment of a card to this day. If you print more and more foils, that is great and all because you will pull more foils from the packs that you do open, but those foils are going to be worth way less money because of that high availability. And then all the magic's gone when you do pull that card that you wanted. Exactly! And I'm only in this for the nostalgia and the fun. Maybe they'll, I don't know, short print the boxes themselves, but that raises a whole other slew of issues because if they short print the boxes themselves, like the sets themselves, then some decks that got printed only once in those sets would, you know, go up in value. There, there's really no winning here. It is what it is. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. You really are a buzzkill! For all we know, they could come out with anime girls and shiny rarities than ever! Please, for the love of God, no! Why would you wish that upon us? Make cool looking Yu-Gi-Oh art and knock it off with the weeb crap. But her feet. But that's weird. At least I don't have cameras following me around all the time. Yeah, it's pretty weird when I'm trying to sleep. I'm not gonna lie. Speaking of which, if you guys want 10% off of cards or 10% off of the best mats in Yu-Gi-Oh, then go ahead and use my codes that are down in the description. And you can win a mat. Hey, no, that is my job, thank you. If you guys want a chance to win this amazing Cosmo map made by MetaMaps, all you have to do is like this video and then go to my Twitter, um, reply to the post about this video on my Twitter, and I will pick a random reply as the winner, and I will message you and get your address and then send you this amazing map. That is it. That is all you have to do to enter in the win. Moment of silence for rares? Nah, I really do still get non-flashbacks from pulling nothing but rares before I had powers. Could you make me some parallel secret anti-spells? In celebration of Starlight Rares. But I thought you said you beat Pendulum decks. I totally do. Um, I just need them for my Harpy deck, you know, to combo them with, with Hunting Ground. <laughs> nice save. Yay! Oh, cool! Yes! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much! No, 
now. Don't go running around putting those in True Draco. Now I want a giant hand prize card. <laughs> what? And Bandai Swords, and Bandai Mirror Force, and DDS Blue Eyes, DDS Exodia, LOB Exodia, LOB well, Blue Eyes, give the original Egyptian card. Egyptian God cards, Max Rarity Goats, Max Rarity Heroes, a Minerva prize card, all the prize cards really, all PSA 10. All PSA 10. Subscribe! <laughs>